Hello, I'm Sam Meredith. The second largest economy in the Eurozone released some key financial data this morning. So joining me to discuss the French economy is senior Eurozone economist with Oxford Economics, Ben May. So Ben, the Bank of France has forecast that growth is set to hit 1.2% this year, following three years of virtual stagnation. However, with industrial production data released this morning standing at minus 0.9%, how would you assess the current state of the country's economic health? Well, I think it's fair to say that, that, that France made a very strong start, start to the year, um, thanks in part to um, some pretty robust household spending growth. Um, I think certainly the, the, the underlying picture is that, that the economy will perform a lot better than it has over the past three years when growth has been very subdued. Uh, but, but say in comparison to Germany, uh, France still faces rather bigger headwinds um, and, and, and certainly our view is that it will underperform the Eurozone as a whole this year. As well as industrial production, we have seen that France's current account turned to a surplus in April, with a decline in imports of crude oil likely a significant factor. Despite this surplus, do you share the Bank of France's optimism of sustained growth over the long term? In terms of the latest data, I, th I think there was some, there's been some reasonable export growth in France, which, which is quite encouraging. Um, you know, perhaps that, that, that reflects the, the strengthening outlook um, in the rest of the Eurozone. Um, equally, though, I, I think a lot of the global economic data has been, has been reasonably weak, and um, it, it, it may well be difficult for, for France to rely on an, an, an external driven recovery against that backdrop. Um, so, so certainly um, in the near term, I think household spending will continue to perform reasonably well, um, partly in, in respect that, that you know, the, the weak oil prices has boosted real wages. But given that there's not really been any signs of a labour market recovery in, in, in France, it's um, debatable how long that, that, that can last. And certainly um, as that, that sort of sugar rush from the, the oil price uh, full fades, um, it may well become increasingly difficult for, for, for France to, to stage um, solid growth. Lastly for today, which key indicators can we look out for that are likely to have a key impact on the French economy? Well, I think the key, the key thing is, is given that, that household spending um, was, was, the, was the, the main driver of growth in, 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 in Q1, um, it, you know, the developments there are going to be very important, um, and, and also any sign that, that perhaps um, the, 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 the fundamentals supporting household spending are, are, are broadening um, away from um, you know, low inflation to, to you know, uh, pick up in employment and, and, and those kinds of developments. Um, and then I think, uh, as I said, that, that a lot will depend on, on global growth prospects, um, the, the euro and, and whether, whether France can um, really um, see a period of, 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 of sustained export-driven um, strength. Thank you, Ben. Be sure to check back with Dugascopy for more updates throughout the week. Goodbye for now.